Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and we are going to go as Tainted Isaac this time. I can't actually remember what unlocks what for Tainted Isaac. So let's go take a look. I'm pretty sure Delirium is spin down. Um, Tainted Isaac. Let's have a little look at what unlocks he has. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, Glitch Crown is the beast. So that's definitely a good one. Mega chests are mega Satan. So maybe we go for um, Soul of Isaac and mega chests, or we go for Glitched Crown. There's, a, there's also a dice bag too. That's a good one. Um, okay, okay. We'll see. We'll just see how the run pans out, and we'll kind of go from there. We're building up a streak again now. Going good. I did turn my mic down a little bit from the previous episode, just because I. On listening it, listening to it back, it sounded overly loud. Um, so I have tweaked it a little bit. Um, one second, let me try and find a good middle ground because the, the levels don't look quite right. But I don't want them to be crazy loud for you guys. It's a little bit of tweaking. One sec. All right, let's see how that is. Hopefully that doesn't peak too much and you guys can hear me nice and clear. Uh, I'll go straight in here again. Take a risk. You got a, a cursed one of those boys. Whoopsie! I've accidentally walked into this. What, what do these poops drop again? These poops can drop black hearts, right? Okay, no. Immoral hearts. Okay. I knew they could drop something, but I wasn't sure what. Either way, things are looking good. We do have this curse for um, some champion enemies that are a bit scary, but we don't have to fear too much. And we'll see what we can do. As for the question of the day today, I just had myself a, um, a Greek bagel, which is a bit of a strange combination, I'll be honest. Uh, but I just had myself a little Greek bagel. I made my own tzatziki and um, and I uh, cut up some white onion, had some chicken. It was really nice. What's something that you make for yourself that is just like the bomb? What's like what's like something you've made that is just like your idea of like perfection? Because that is tzatziki is definitely one of mine. Get, get out of here, like exploding little shits. Get out of here. Um, secret room could be here. Hmm. Could have another one here. I'm probably going to say that's one there. I think fair secret room is often better to find than the second secret room is. Uh, wait a minute. Can we... No. Can you get out of here? Yeah, yeah there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. I did it, baby. I mean, I didn't really get much out of it, but I did it. That felt satisfying. Blow that up. Check for the crawl space again, as, as I said before. And here we've got... I think we definitely take stitches in this scenario. Um, For one, it doesn't take up any of our eight item slots, but also stitches is just real goddamn good. Um, it essentially allows us to get anything over any pit and get into every single cash room for free. Um... Also, you can do some telefragging with it if you're confident enough to do that. Uh, I'll be honest, most of the time I'm not. But just the fact that, like, rooms like this, we now get to get all of this money. It's a little bit time consuming, I will admit, but I'm pretty happy with this. Cool stuff, cool stuff. I'll check out my shop here, see if there's anything worthwhile. I really don't like how much I'm bullying my donation machine at the minute, but I really think an early blue map, I might end up trading it out later on, but an early blue map could be super, super good. So let's uh, grab blue map. Do you know what? I bombed my donation machine. I have got a blood donation machine on this floor. There was literally no reason for me to do that. So my bad. Can I buy a bomb? Yeah, really no reason for me to do that. So my bad. Uh, there is no bomb for sale. Unfortunately, but I think blue map early pretty darn good. It's not obviously like the best item, so We probably won't keep it forever But I can see myself keeping it for a good while at least <clears throat> Right, uh play this a few times to get up to 15 cent again Oh actually we did end up getting oh we got bucket of blood as well bucket of blood is like such a good item to get from this Look at all the HP. We did lose some red hearts there, but I think overall that's absolutely fine from that soul hearts We got out of it uh, is it worth popping these buttons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. 
This one not so much, especially in the scenario I'm in now. I just literally let that one hit me. My bad. It's fine, it's fine. We've got enough HP to be okay. Like I said, you can telefrag with stitches. It's just a little risky. Uh, but it does a lot of damage, so... If you can make it work, I definitely think it's a worthy strategy. Like, it just... You gotta be okay with losing a bit of HP in the process. Um, I think I'm gonna take uh, this the, this here because it's part of spun. We'll go this way. Um, do I want to go downpour in this scenario? Yeah, I'll go downpour. We've got so many keys. We've got money and stuff. Why not? Why not give it a bash? Shop right off the bat is weird. You never get shop right off the bat. That's strange. Um. I guess I'll take spider mod here. I don't think I'll be keeping it for long, but why not? We've got a four room here. Oh, we have a bomb. Damn it. Yeah, we clearly look 50 damage for a telefrag. Look at that. Beautiful. 50 whole damage. It's kind of amazing. Sadly, that cannot um, break walls or anything, but it can It can destroy shopkeepers, which I always forget about. Oh, Lord. I've never heard the voice line for that card before. It's it's something else. what it is. It's something else. Right. Quickly just go back here a minute. Because <laughs> I've just remembered that, yeah, I can destroy shopkeepers with, uh, with this guy. Pretty darn useful. But yeah, I don't know if I, I don't I don't know if buying spider mod there was really that worthwhile because I'll be getting rid of it at some point. But I just thought, why not? Oh god, I missed that guy with the telefrag there. Whoops. While we've got low damage, it's certainly a decent tactic. We just, like I said, you've got to kind of know your limits with it. You can't overplay it. Golden key before we use the key is very very nice. Go oh, we'll definitely take the axe here. I think the axe is probably something that we'll keep for quite a while. <clears throat> The axe is real, real good. Huzzah. Because it's, it's got piercing and it can hit multiple enemies and stuff. It's just all around very, very good. Got dead as well. I really like having spider mod in this scenario, I'll be honest. Um, and boss. With that plus 50 damage there from the <coughs> telefrag. Sorry about clearing my throat there. Like I said, I have just eaten. Like, literally just... Really quick way to kill bosses, especially when we have pretty low damage. I like it. I like it. Um, and here, I guess we go with Consolation Prize here. Um, yeah, that gave us damage for now. Um, we do have the little lamb. I think I'm going to take the little lamb for one reason and one reason only. It's infinite bombs, and we have all of our secret rooms mapped out, so... It seems to make a lot of sense. Obviously, there is a bit of danger in using this guy. But, I've said before, he is a charge-up based familiar, which significantly lowers his risk. Which is really, really nice that they decided to make it charge-based. I don't know if that was done on purpose due to the risk, but really, really glad they did that. Uh, we'll grab that trinket as well. Why not? I suppose I could spend a little time to uh, destroy the mushrooms and stuff in this room. Unfortunately, nothing there. But we go to this other secret room. And yeah, now we're no longer sort of in that situation of really, really needing to find bombs. Because we have a way of revealing all of our secret rooms in just two... Basically, with two items, we've got a really good setup. Um, kill him. Kill you. Don't think there's any... Ow. My bad. Apparently, I was stood too close to that rock. Uh, don't think that's very useful for us. I can open this because it's free. That's a lot of keys, my guy. That's a lot of keys. <laughs> okay, and hopefully we get the triple black heart playoff of this thing, which is unlikely, I realize. But a man can dream. Sadly not. Should we take pills? Let's gamble. Speed up, happy. Burp. For another speed up. Okay, pretty happy with that. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle, people. One thing I just want to test real quick.
I was maybe thinking you could put out fires with a thingy, but you, I don't think you can. But yeah, I just remembered I could blow up the blue fires, which is quite nice. Very glad I did my due diligence there. Right. Get gone, shall we? I'll take this pill as well, why not? Bad trip. Bad trip. Why do you curse me, sir? Why, oh why? Nice. Hopefully one of these gives me that soul heart back. Damn you, game. Can't believe I lost it to that bad trip of all things. But yeah, now we have some good damage dealing potential as well. It's like, I think when you're playing a Sainted Isaac, like stuff like Bob's Brain or Familiars that late game are a bit risky or whatever, you want to be sort of taking those to augment your early damage so that you don't need high damage stat. Because honestly, getting high damage stat as this guy is kind of rough. It's not super easy because obviously you've got the factors of like having to get those items in the first place but then you can't hold a ton of damage ups especially if you have like tier effects or familiars you want to keep so it really creates a bit of an issue we destroy these i guess I want to be trying to get every advantage we can really so i am trying to blow stuff up where it makes sense a penny for that one. That did a good amount of damage. I'm not really telefragging at the moment, but like I said, because I've got my bombs going, kind of a little more interested in that. I can, however, go and do... I've got to do walk this way and hold that. There you go. Unfortunately, nothing I can do in this room. But yeah, it's nice that you can get the uh, extra bit of stuff from that. Well, these up again. Honestly, any blue fires, there's only a 10% chance on hard mode, but I still think it's pretty worthwhile to try and go for that, just in case. Oh, you know, I'm super happy. I'm in a really good mood right now, because like I said, I just had that lunch. And the best thing is, the satsuki I made is really garlicky. So, like, I've just got this, like, constant taste of garlic at the moment. And it's just, it's bliss. It's pure bliss. Telefrag that guy. Wait. The Telefrag dealt more damage there. Um, This is a tricky one because Reflux is kind of interesting. It allows us to do some explosions. We've already got something that does explosions. I think we go for the Limestone Carving instead. Mainly because now, when we destroy rocks, we get friends. I think now that we have a guaranteed way to blow up rocks and a guaranteed benefit from blowing up rocks, this could be pretty darn good. I gotta say, I think this is a good idea. Um, Shop-wise, nothing great here. I, I want to blow this stuff up, but honestly, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to try my best to blow this stuff up without hitting myself. But yeah, look how many limestone boys we have. Pretty great. Got an absolute army of them. Surely with this many, we've got to get something good here. We got them all. Right, now let's do some re-rolling. Smelter is interesting. Ooh, Humbling Bundle, I think for now, is, is the way to go. Although we are full up, but a Bucket of Blood we can get rid of. We get rid of Bucket of Blood. The good thing about Humbling Bundle is we can keep it for a while, get our consumables to really good levels, and then get rid of it. I think the next thing to go will probably be Spider Mod. But yeah, look at this. Basically, any room that has rocks, we can generate quite a lot of these fellas. And they will very much do our bidding for us, so... Very happy to see.
bit good. Now, it doesn't generate one with every rock destroyed, but it's fairly often. And you can get some other variants of them as well. You can see we've got, we've got some fire-based ones there as well. Second secret room, lovely. Some spicy keys. We've got two keys right now. I don't think we need that. Apparently there's a nickel in here that I didn't grab. That is why it was a reflected one, but that's quite a lot of money, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's just go. Let's just go. Right, I think we have a really, really good setup here for uh, killing pretty much everything in a timely manner. Bad thing is, obviously, situations like this for the beast don't really do much for us. Snake oil on Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly's obviously better here, um, because fire rate up is rather nice, but also the health we get is permanent. I'll be taking both of those, thank you. And I think I'll actually leave Spider Mod and keep Mr. Dolly with me for the fire rate increase. We'll go down to the regular floor now. So we are still sort of on the mindset of going to the beast, but that's not like 100% what I'm going to do. Tech X is certainly something I want here. There you go, we got it. Um, trade it in for... Probably for the syringe. We don't need range anymore. The speed upgrade's nice, but we've got two speed up pills, so... It's not as big of a deal. Now, one thing we do have to recognize is that while charging up our Tech X, we are going to be charging up our Lamb, which certainly leads to some potential issues. But now I'm not as worried for doing the Beast if that's the way we end up going. We've got a kind of an out. Good stuff. That bad boy open. Good amount of money about. As I said, humbling bundle. We won't need it forever. But it's going to make a difference for a little while. It's going to make a difference for a little while. I'm going to be blowing up rocks where I can to try and get some more more friends. I mean, we've got a lot of them right now, so it's not exactly the biggest deal. Luckily, our Tech X does charge a lot faster than our, um, our Lamb Boy. Whatever I don't kill, they will, they will kill for me. Beautiful stuff. Crack into here. A golden bomb is fine by me. I guess I can just keep making money off of the uh, these guys. Lovely stuff. Especially when you got golden bombs. It's no cost at all to us, so why the hell wouldn't I? Carefully, these guys jumping on my goddamn head. We've got golden keys this floor as well, so we'll check this out. Doesn't really matter all that much, but I'll, I'll see what happens. You can get some pretty valuable stuff out of this, although it does reduce the amount of rocks we have to destroy, which is not ideal. Actually, no, it doesn't, because it only does it after combat, right? Yeah, it only does it after combat. Didn't really mean to blow up that machine there. But honestly, we got an eternal heart out of it. I'm not going to complain. Okay. Base reward, Bomber Boy. I think we just take Bomber Boy and then put it down again. Just for the five bombs. Wait. Consolation Prize is no longer giving me any stats, so I guess I'll just keep Bomber Boy for now. Didn't realize that was the way Consolation Prize would work. Okay. Keep this trainer going. We're in a really good position here, this run. Really good position, to be honest. Let's get these before they all get re-rolled. Aha, you have nothing to change now, D12. I bested you, even though I'm the one that decided to have you be a thing for us anyways. But yeah, it just has a potential to generate so many that 
I'm making a lot out of it. Like, 50-50 seems like. There's our boss room. There's more money. We should probably go and play the rest of that, uh, the rest of that machine, to be honest, with this much money going on. Right. Just to see what they re-roll into. Like, this item isn't that good, but it could flip into something really good, like token bag. Holy shit. So we'll take token bag. And what's the other thing we got here? The loaded dice. On use, reroll pedis items in the current room into copies of items you're already holding. Okay, we'll take that as well, I think. Make sure we don't get the traded version. There you go. Pretty happy. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if having multiple tech X's really does anything for us. Let's find out. It very much does something for us. Okay, I'll be taking three Tech X's, thank you. <laughs> nice. Well, this worked out kind of well. I have triple Tech X now. <laughs> Do you reckon I can get to the point where every single item I have is just all Tech X's? That'd be kind of hilarious. That would be quite funny. Uh, ooh, two damage ups here. This is getting tricky now. I think at this point I can get rid of Humbling Bundle fairly safely. Um, I don't know what would be the bigger damage up. I think it would be Pentagram. Yeah, Pentagram's a good damage up. Okay, pretty happy with how this floor went. Let's keep her going. I think Token Bag is probably the next thing we'd be willing to get rid of because it's, it's very good, but it requires sort of a specific setup to get it to do something good. But yeah, we got triple shot tech X now. The interesting thing about this dice is the more tech X's we get, the higher chance things will be re-rolled into tech X. Which is kind of an interesting prospect here. Hemolacria is interesting. So, I love... I think I might get rid of my lamb dude now, to be honest. Although... Yeah, because I don't have blue map anymore. How does this work? Let me just find out how this works. Yeah, okay, I'm keeping that. I'm definitely keeping that. Right, now we go back in here... And we re-roll that into another Tech X. I think I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is, <laughs> this is this is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. Quite a lot of Tech Xing we've got going on right now. I like the fact that I no longer have to charge it up as well, which is just lovely. Probably secret room here, right? Thought so. Those chests are really, really, really damn good. Um, quickly go back and grab this. Oh, we, we did get a token here, um, which I don't actually know what I'd want to use the token on, to be honest. Maybe just use it for the hearts. Yeah. It's a little bit of a shit usage for it, I'll be honest. But those things can be really good. Uh, we got an item out of it. Um, Tool. Do we want tool right now? 50% chance for enemies... For, for damage to enemies to apply... To, uh, damage to the same fight. I don't think it's good enough, really. 
Let's keep it moving. What what floor are we on? Necro one. Token bag be gone. be gone now, I think. Okay. Right. I think we're pretty much done with this floor, but I'll, I'll take a little another look around just in case. See, now I'm now I'm tempted. Do I go all Tech X, or do I, do I stick with, like, the extra damage plus Tech X? I think I might get rid of Pentagram and just keep the, uh, the Curse Damager. I'll see how much of a damage down it is when I get the opportunity. Oh lord, we got some feet coming in, some hands even, not feet. I'll go on that front. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't check this for HP at least. Oh wait, is there a battery in there as well? There is a battery down there. Oh, it's a reflected battery. I didn't even notice. My bad. Okay, right. Go back this way. In fact, how many items is there in here? There's just one. Okay, that's another Tech X. But how much of a damage down is this? That's a three damage down. I think I can take it. Okay. So I think we're... I think we're ready to go. Now, the question is... Do I, do I go for another Tech X, or do I keep this big damage up? It's kind of hard to say which is the better idea. Oh wait, I still don't have enough charges, damn. Thought I did. Doran Tootin, I think we're going to go, um... I was going to say go Mega Satan. We can't go Mega Satan now unless we do Sack Room plays. Um, we can't do Boss Rush now either. So Beast is probably the best way to go forward, to be honest. Took a Devil Deal. Fool. Okay. Keep it moving. This has been a somewhat interesting run. Um, we will go down to the next floor feeling pretty good. Hopefully we can get a Bath right at some point. That'd be pretty awesome. So we can get even more Tech X's, but I don't know how likely that is. Uh, I'm going to leave my Trinket here. Just so I don't forget. This is a Trinket I particularly don't really care about. Right, down we go. Okie dokie. Yeah, the question is, do I want another... Is the, is the damage I'm getting from this item better than one additional Tech X? I'm not sure. Come on, dude. Please die. How is this room not over? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I caught it. I need to be looking for a full card at this point. Nice. So what does having another Hemolacria in the, in the business do? So we're firing one, two, three, four. How many shots are we firing? It's hard to see. One, two, three. We're firing seven shots now, I think. So that's a... 14.86. Or a... It's not actually that much damage. Um... I think we go for another Tech X, and then, I mean, to be fair, we could go all Tech X. See, it's funnier to go all Tech X, but having just one Hemolacria in the business makes it a lot better, in my opinion. So we're going to keep the one Hemolacria. 
But this is our build now. <laughs> this is our Tainted Isaac build. Right, we need the uh, we need the, the full card before we end up going anywhere. <clears throat> this is just hilarious. What a fucking stupid item combination to get as this character. One second. All right, let's keep this party rolling because I am having a lot of fun. It's such a basic build, but it's so fun. The fact that we got Hemolacria to add to this as well, it's just the icing on the cake. Like, it would have been just as funny to just have all Tech Xs as our items, but Hemolacria means we no longer have to charge it, which just saves us a bunch of hassle. I think it means we get a damage up as well. I think Hemolacria is itself a damage up. So in that sense, it's great too. But yeah, like every other item that we could possibly come across is now irrelevant, which is great because we're now at the point where we kind of want to leave, so. Okay, full card, thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sadly, no boss rush for us. That would have been a nice thing to tick off as well, but we've been spending too long re-rolling everything into Tech X. Noise. Okie dokie. Let's go. I don't know why I left my trinket, actually. I don't actually need to unlock that room, do I? Do you get anything from unlocking that room? I can't remember. Oh, you get you get um, in a child, don't you? But it's still useful. Luckily, we're all soul hearts, though, so the bed will give us three soul hearts when we rest, which is real nice. that real quick but yeah even the item room here it just means absolutely nothing to us we have no reason to seek out the item room because there isn't a single possible thing it could give me that i'd want to take i don't think like i can't imagine me switching out a single tech x at this point they're too precious to me but i will check anyways just out of habit the what, what, what item is this i've never seen this before plasma globe Tears have a chance to confuse enemies and cause them to shoot lightning out in random directions. Scales with luck. Very cool item idea. Not something I need right now. Sadly, I went every which way apart from the boss, which is common for me. Let's go. But yeah, like, this dice, I just... It's a really cool idea. I don't know what mod it's from. It's a really cool idea for a dice. But I, I doubt whoever made it thought about the implications of Tainted Isaac. Because you can only have a few items as a whole. So there isn't as big of an item pool for it to choose from. But then every time you get another one of an item you're holding, the chances of you getting that item again when you use the active again becomes exponentially higher. Oh, dude. What the hell? Why does this exist? Oh, God. This is horrible. Oh, wait, because the goddamn... Oh, the things can press their buttons on their own. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that they could press the buttons. Goddamn, there's, tele there's teleporters behind these that I can't see. It's confusing the hell out of me. Some interesting room style. Not that it meant jack shit to us, but there you go. Right. Let's keep it moving. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Onto the ascent. I think most things should be dying pretty darn quickly here. Hopefully we should be reasonably safe. Can we see what the other item was, just in case? It was cursed. I. <laughs> The fact that it, like, travels over rocks and stuff just makes it even better. Up we go. Two beast runs in a row as well. Not not often I do that. I wasn't really intending this one to be a beast run, but obviously Glitch Crown is such a good, such a good unlock, even if it is a secret room only item. But I kind of wanted it as soon as possible. Someone mentioned it to me and I was like, oh, it's such a good item. I want it. Um... There's my cracked key. I'll take it for Inner Child. Actually, will Inner Child even matter? Because I don't even know if I can pick it up. Like, won't it... Tech X. Won't it, um... 
count as an extra item or does it not count? I have no idea. Dude. Sometimes this floor contains so many of the scythe dudes. It's kind of evil. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Bumbling bundle, no thank you. Yeah, I'm hoping to keep around this amount of health so that when we go up, we can sleep in the bed and be near full. Oh, bugger. I say that and then immediately get hit. Oh, and again. Oh, no. Two very poor hits back to back. I mean, it's not that bad. Our health is still okay. Be careful, look out for Tinted Rocks if we can. I don't think we're likely to get too many more Soul Hearts here, but let's hope for the best. I suppose what I could do there in that situation there is uh, destroy the blue fires in the hopes we get a Soul Heart. Here we got one. Every little helps. Every little helps. This is such, like, a beautiful run. <laughs> it's so basic, but it's so beautiful. This is the sort of shit why I love modding. Like, just... How have... Like, I've never even seen a run like this before. It's so simple, but it's so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Modding allows this sort of crap to happen, and... Just, every run's so different. So different. Hate those things. Oh shit, we got one of them. Big fat boys. Luckily, they don't seem to have really high HP like I thought they would, so they're actually not too bad. The fact that the Tech X, like, has to, like, go until it hits a wall just means it covers the entire room. Anyways, we're here already. Surprisingly so. we get from here. Extra bombs is rather nice. We of course sleep in the bed to get those three extra soul hearts. It's always worth coming down here without any red hearts for that exact reason. We got a puzzle piece, which is kind of interesting. I don't think we'll be getting the rest of those, but I'll take it. And yeah, I don't think in a child will allow us to pick it up, but I, I've got to check. Oh wait, and a child isn't even in here. What the fuck? I'm confused. Tech X. <laughs> it's all Tech X, people. Right. Not quite sure how quickly we're going to kill Dogma here, but it should be reasonably fast. If I don't fire the incorrect direction. Do you all remember the Humalacria is going to hit and then all the Tech Xs are going to hit as well? Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Even with our low fire rate, it's like still crazy damage. Of course you decide to do this bullshit straight off the bat. But of course. One more coming in and then we're good to go. Just He just does it so much. I mean, we killed him while he was doing it, but... It's like, goddamn, dude, calm down. Right, unfortunately, Hemalacria does have a bit of a downside here and the gravity is heavily affected, but it's not actually so bad. We're into second phase already. With this being a larger room, the Tech Xs don't hit as easily, but they still do a lot of damage regardless. Beautiful stuff. We want to be trying to hit every single one of them to get all the Tech Xs to proc. Onto second phase already. Okay, we are destroying these bosses right now. Absolutely annihilating. It's beautiful. Yeah, try try and hit them all. If if we hit them all, it, it does like a solid twenty percent of the health. There we go. Dead. I like it if you fire straight up and it does like that little it spread effect. It's cool. 
And then this guy, I don't think we'll have any problems with the sides because I think all of our uh, tech X's will hit the sides. In fact, I think we're gonna kill him before he even finishes his scythe move by the looks of things. Yes, we did. Awesome. That's a sign of like insane damage on this fight. What an insane active item. I, I really like um, stacking items. I kind of had that idea a while back, probably about a month ago now, about a mod that would add more stacking to more items. Um, I'd still love to see that. If anyone out there would be likes the idea, please feel free to take it. Because I would love to see that as a mod. This is just... Now with reflected items, golden items, actives like this, there's so many methods to uh, get doubled items, but there's a lot of items that don't work doubled. Anyways, that's an insane run there. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that one, because I sure as hell did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.